Hey everyone, let's get started on project number two. So we're going to do the same process that we did for project number one. So I'm on my desktop and I'm going to start off by right clicking and creating a folder. And this is going to be our to do app. So I'm going to call it to do list. So I'm making a to do list. No capital letters to do list. So maybe I'll do an underscore list. To do list. All right, enter. All right, so I'm going to set it aside. You can call it anything you want. All right, and now we're going to go into Visual Studio Code. So double click on that. And we're going to install um, create React app just like we did before and then we're going to clean it up and then we're going to get started. Alright, so what I'm going to do is wait for it to load. Open my folder, just click on open folder and look for the folder that we just created which was called to-do list select folder and then we're gonna do our terminal we're gonna go into the terminal alright and I'm in my terminal so we're gonna run the the command uh, npx create react oops create dash react dash app and then we're gonna put a dot and that's going to install it into the correct folder and then we hit enter and it's gonna work it's gonna take a little time so don't again don't be alarmed go out for a cup of coffee come back and then we'll get started okay so everything's installed and if you look you have your public folder your source folders all your good stuff here that we had last time we're going to do our general cleanup again so first thing i'm going to do is run npm start and that's going to start the development server and then we'll get to see our react logo and all that good stuff and then we'll start our cleanup so it says starting the development server and it is loading right now. All right, so it can keep doing that while I go over here. And I'm gonna go into my public folder first and I'm just gonna delete that favicon again. You don't have to do all this all this stuff, but I think it just makes everything look a little, a little easier to navigate. You don't have extra things that you don't need. And then I'm going to get rid of the manifest as, as well, like we did last time. Then we're going to go into the index folder and just get rid of the comments, just, just to clean it up a little bit. Again, you don't have to do all this stuff. Some of that you do have to do. You have to get rid of the logo. All right, so I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm going to get rid of these comments. And remember that the div ID root is the very, very important part. And then I'm going to get rid of this next group of comments. Plus, I'm going to get rid of the manifest link. The next group of comments. And I'm going to get rid of the uh, meta name theme color. Okay, and then I'm going to control save. Okay, now we're going to go into our source folder and we're going to go to the logo and uh, we're going to get rid of it. But before I do that, why don't I go into the app.js and delete the import part so it doesn't break the app. Okay, so we just delete the import logo. And then over here, we're going to get rid of the header business because that's, again, all the logo stuff. And there we go. And you know what? I'm going to put in an H1 just so that we can see something. H1. And inside that, let's go ahead and put um, my 
to do list. All right. So we're going to save that. And then we're going to go into the um, logo area here. And now we can safely get rid of it. Just delete it. And then we'll get rid of our service worker JS file as well. And then I think we'll be done cleaning up. We're going to have to get rid of the import on here too. So you know what I'll do? I think I'll do that first. So let's go to the app JS file again. No, it's not in there. It's in the index.js file. Go into the index.js file and let us get rid of the service worker stuff. All right. And then we'll get rid of this service worker and the comments. Okay, and everything else looks good. Control save. Then we're going to go into service worker. And we're just going to delete that one. And then we're going to go back to app.js and save, and we should be able to see my to-do list show up. Hmm. It's not showing up. So, why not? Oh, we probably didn't save this. Got to save that, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We can also get rid of this link here. Then we'll save again. All right. Then we're going to go to the app CSS. We're going to get rid of all the logo um, CSS styling. So get rid of that. And we'll add a little bit of our own styling here in a second. Just some generic stuff like we did last time. So let's go to the same thing as we did last time. We did our star. And then we did our box sizing, border box. And then we did our margin, set it at zero, and then we'll set our padding at zero. And then we'll do a generic body as well. And we'll do that font family. And we'll do Arial. Click on this and we'll save. Okay, so it once we saved, it refreshed, and there we have our My To-Do List. Okay, so we finished our cleanup, so now it's time to start the project. So in our next video, we will begin adding our components for our to-do list.